Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the third part of the Unreal Engine C++ training series, where today we'll be talking about U properties and U functions. Now, U proper what are U properties and U functions? U properties and U functions are macros available in C++ via Unreal Engine that will allow us to use C++ code inside of the editor. Inside of the editor. We'll be able to use the code, we will be able to see the code, and we potentially, depending on what we want, we can edit the code as well. Now without further ado, let's get started. Uh, here I'm inside of the character header uh, source file. I'm also going to be using the character header file for this tutorial. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a very simple uh, ammo system for our first person character because as of right now if we go ahead and play ooh, that's loud in the headphones if we go ahead and play we can shoot this gun as many times as we can as many times as we want but we're gonna go ahead and limit that since that's a system that's in a lot of games anyway first of all what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the uh, the audio so I'm gonna do this and just erase that so cool that's not gonna give me any headaches um, but what we're going to do is I'm going to go into the header file and add in a new variable. I'm going to make it public because why not? Oh, I'm going to make it an int32, uh, make it ammo. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a value inside of the constructor. So ammo is equal to 5 I guess let's just do that for simplicity sake and it's giving me an error in 32 ammo and there we go IntelliSense is just being a little slow at the moment which is going to be a thing in Unreal Engine so what's gonna happen is when the gun fires what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the amount of ammo that we have by 1 so ammo minus minus just the normal in, uh, decrement operator and what I'm going to do is at the beginning I don't want this code to fire off at all unless ammo is greater than zero so if ammo is greater than zero then all of this code is going to fire however if it's not then none of this is going to work so I'm going to go ahead and take all of this Ooh, not all of that I'm going to take all of this code cut that out and paste it in there so here we've got ourselves hopefully our basic ammo system so we're gonna go ahead and save that and compile in the editor now what this should be able to do is we should be able to fire the gun five times and after five times when we click the mouse we should have no response from our gun alright it's done compiling so let's let's go ahead and fire one two three four five and if I click any more we will have no response from our weapon cool all right so where we're gonna do where we're going to use uh, these U properties and these U functions um, it's going to be very simple as of right now our only way of editing this variable our variable of how much ammo we have is by coming into the constructor and changing this value here however if you've got I don't know animators or other or artists or other people who don't necessarily write code and are intimidated by code because I'm sure there are a lot um, that are intimidated by the thought of writing code uh, we want to make this as simple as possible for them so what we're going to do is we're going to allow this this variable here to be seen inside of the editor what we're gonna do is we're going to make this a U property and see if we look at the nice IntelliSense thing here we've got these macros wrap metadata parsed by the Unreal header tool and are otherwise ignored when code containing them is compiled by C++ so what, what that's saying is that without this macro none of this code will be uh, available outside of the C++ environment. So now what we have to do is we have to give it uh, some specifiers. 
and by uh, specifiers I mean visibility specifiers so we can make this uh, blueprint read write we can make it blueprint read only and I'll explain what these mean uh, later on but for now we're gonna have it as edit defaults only so I'm gonna have that header right there or I'm sorry have this macro right here right above our ammo inside of our header file I'm gonna go ahead and save that and compile and then what I'm going to do is while that's waiting, I'm going to navigate over to the character blueprint. Now the blueprint, if you're unfamiliar, is going to be the visual scripting language that's inside of Unreal Engine that a lot of times are used for uh, designers and, and other people who aren't necessarily uh, up to date with the code. So we're going to come into first person CPP blueprints and first person character. And now we've got the event graph, which just shows off uh, the blueprint code. Or we can go over to the viewport right here, which shows our character. But if you look over to the details panel on the right hand side, if we look at our U tutorial character, we've got this variable ammo and it's set to five. So if I go ahead and I make that 10, for example, right here, I can compile and I'll go ahead and save and exit out of the blueprint save our world right here and play and one shot two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it no longer fires because it's using the same c plus plus code that we have written here it's just written overwritten the variable ammo from the value of five and it's using the blueprint value that we've set here at 10. So this is a nice, simple, and easy way that we can go ahead and um, allow designers and you know anybody on the team really can access and change this variable. And right now it's just saved in a category called U Tutorial Character. If we wanted to, we can go ahead and make this a bit nicer. We can create categories. So we can type in category equals and let's just make this player data this is an excellent way of categorizing different variables different values um, and being able to make sure that anybody can reach them at a glance so we can have the players health the players uh, kill numbers the amount of ammo and all of these variables if we all categorize them um, in player data so if we come back in here Notice that U tutorial character isn't there anymore, but here we've got player data and our ammo value is saved right here. Really cool. And you'll notice this arrow, this little yellow arrow is right here, and you see it'll be uh, reset to default. So it, if I click that arrow, it'll just bring it back to the value that I have saved in the constructor. Now that's just, that's the U properties. Um, and what we can also do is we can make U functions as well. So a U function will do the same thing for a function as a, as a U property does a value. It'll allow us to use these values, you know, use our functions inside of blueprints. So for an example, I can write in, I'm going to create an on fire, uh, uh, I'm going to make U fire into a on fire sorry into a u function so for here I'm just going to u function it's the same syntax for the for the macro and for this we're not going to have edit defaults only because this is this is a function this isn't a value what we're going to do is we're going to say that this is going to be blueprint callable And hopefully that's self-explanatory enough. That means that we'll be able to call this function from our blueprints. And while I'm here, I'm going to give it the category. Category equals. Uh, 
uh, CPP functions. And we're not going to go ahead and uh, end cap this with a semicolon. As you can see, we didn't do that for you property either. So this means that on fire is going to be callable from the blueprints and it will be put inside of the category known as CPP function. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this first person character blueprint, save that and compile. Now I'm going to go ahead and save the uh, first person character blueprint while I'm at it, just to make sure that everything is uh, updated properly. All right, compile complete. Now I'm going to come into the first person character. Now we're here in the event graph, uh, which is where all of the all of the blueprints are are handled. Um, so right here we've got all of the blueprint functions that are available. And I'm just going to do begin play. If you're if you're unfamiliar with begin play, um, you can go ahead and watch the previous Unreal C++ tutorial where we went over begin play. But here is just the blueprint version. It's going it's the same version that we used um, in the last tutorial, but except it's uh, in blueprints here. And if you remember uh, from the last tutorial, we ended up calling uh, on fire from begin play. So that's what I'm going to do right here as well. So event begin play, if I just type in on fire, you can see it's inside of our CPP function category and it's on fire. So we go ahead and compile and save. What we should expect is the same result that we had last time is that when I click play, the gun should fire automatically and it does. So that's you function. I will actually have the, the documentation for you property and you function in the description down below. Um, in that, in that documentation, there is, um, the other access specifiers for, uh, the, for the U properties, um, some meta fun, uh, some meta, some meta functionality and, uh, some other ways that we can use, uh, U functions in blueprints. All right. And that'll be it for me today. Uh, tune in next week for the next tutorial and I'll see you guys later.